Hey, welcome back guys. This is Beamer Merchant. Today we're going to focus on a do-it-yourself video that relates to the air suspension found in, in this particular car, 2002 BMW X5 4.4. However, this air suspension is found on 4.6 and 3.0 models. We're going to go and show you where it's located, how it looks, the symptoms that you'll get if you get a uh, faulty airbag and lastly how you can replace it. This is a driver rear airbag. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. To have access to it you gotta remove the tire and then you, this is what you see. Back here you're gonna find the angle sensor. Very important for the suspension. We've gone ahead and removed the passenger side rear and this is how the airbag looks. As you can see, this is rubbery, like a big balloon. So in most cases with age, it'll start cracking and air will escape from here. If that happens, you're gonna notice either a hissing sound coming from this side or the other side, or most likely, you're gonna see your uh, X5 sagging more than normal from the rear. You're gonna think it's like a low rider, but it's not, it's just sagging too much. If that happens, you need to replace this airbag. However, don't worry about it. The replace replacement process is not that hard it'll take time but you can do it and we're gonna show you how to do it today so what do you need to do remove your tire get a pry bar you're gonna need to remove this clip here insert your pry bar here pop out the clip clip is located if you look here it's underneath the airbag right where my finger is right here pop it out Once the clip is popped out, we need to go ahead and start working in the top. To have access to this part, you need to go inside the vehicle. In this video, we're going to be working on the passenger rear airbag. So what you need to do is you need to go ahead and remove this cover. Get it out of the way. And the way you remove this cover is by taking this off here. Holds two bolts. Remove that. And as you can see here, it's got clips all the way around the top. Take that off. You then move, come and remove this cover. Holds your tow hook and uh, other tools. Remove that. This is what you come up with. This is the passenger rear. And this is where, if you saw prior, I'm gonna go on the driver's side. This is more likely what you'll encounter, okay, when you remove the, co uh, the panel and the cover. You have to remove this rubber piece. Before you start pulling stuff off, notice that this has an arrow. This piece has to go like this with the arrow facing this way. Okay, once the cover is removed, these are the pins. These pins, all you have to do is slide them out. Okay, however, before you start doing any of that, remember, the there is still pressurized air in the system. What I recommend you do is, you go ahead and locate this fitting here. I believe it's a 10 loosen it up and let the air escape okay and as turn it you know to adjust it obviously in the beginning do it a little bit you're gonna hear some hissing when you, when you don't hear anymore open it more you're gonna hear more air see like right now you hear that air I know that the air is being uh, released little by little here I don't want to go ahead and take it off right away because it'll pop so take your time in this case here another turn and so forth you'll know the air is gone once you're able to remove this hose completely okay once the air is completely off and you don't hear anything no more air being released you come here you go ahead and pull these pins out and then if you notice right there there there's a clip right there and another one what you need to do is compress those together and slide out once you do that this hose comes out Okay, so for now, I'm just going to go ahead and let the air escape completely. I'm going to cut off now to view the, uh, the rest or the final part of this video. Click on, on, the link, on the link posted so it can take you to part two. And in part two, we're going to go ahead and show you how to remove everything. And of course, since we're here, we're going to go ahead and sh uh, point out some important 
components that make up the air suspension on your X5. So for now, thanks for watching and be sure to click on the link. Talk to you soon.